Hey guys, this is Rodney with GearCore EDC with a Tucson mod that I did. This is um, a rather odd scale material. It can be found online and eBay. It's called Refere Uranium SFX. And they offer a couple different variants of this. This is the one I found and decided to go with because it has a machinist style theme with aluminum chips, much like you would find on the floor of a machine shop. I've actually created chips like this on various machines, lathes and mills. Depending on what kind of cutter I use, it creates this kind of chip. But I thought it was very unique in the combination that it is a three stage in natural sunlight uv light it turns a bright or a dark blue to almost purple depending on the amount of uv in natural light it is gray almost opaque and then it is glow in the dark and i will do my best to try to do this in this video to show all three if I can't, I will upload a separate video or video showing all three colors so you can really get the grasp of it. It's easy to take pictures. It's harder to do film because once I start filming, it's hard to turn flashes and lights and stuff off besides the light that's in the room. I hope you understand. I do all this from my phone. I don't have any dedicated cameras or setups. Um a simpleton when it comes to stuff like this so i hope you enjoy this i really had fun making this i started on it on a saturday morning and from start to finish on the tucson and a backspacer for a spider co um i had about seven hours in it this knife is complete minus a clip because i have not decided what kind of pocket clip i want to do yet so Without further ado, I hope you like it. The Tucson TS-17. Now you can see the aluminum chips that are in the frame. The scales. and the three-dimensional look that it gives depending on how the light hits it. You know, imagine they're laying in a puddle and this epoxy captures them. Now this material is fairly easy to machine. It's resilient, but you have to be careful. There was no voids or air pockets or anything in it, but depending on how close you get to an edge like here, is a chip. I got real close to that chip coming out, which means I'd have a void or a hole there. I made the backspacer out of the same material. This is all done by hand, minus bringing the thickness to the thickness I desired. And I still maybe might contour, contour this more. It's fairly slick, but yet has some little bit of a grip to it. I don't know if you can hear that. But I really like the way it come out. Of course, laying the, the holes out, it's only two holes, one in the front, one in the rear, one that goes through the back spacer and then the pivot, and then getting those counterboard for the screws to work and, and you know, the right diameters to make everything flush because I got everything flush. The action is great. This is an odd blade shape. I know a lot of people don't like recurves. I did this to this knife because I didn't really like the G10. It had like a honeycomb pattern scale on it. And it was one of those knives that I was like, you know, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of it. And I said, you know what? This is a perfect knife to mod and play around with. And I started looking for scale materials and I was looking at Mercarta and carbon fiber and G10 and color G10 and 
you know, I said, well, you know, I, I want something different. I want to see what's out there. And I found this material and I am just stunned by it. I know I'm, I, like I said, I'm a simpleton. You know, some of you might look at this and say it's ugly, but to a machinist, because this is actually made from scrap that a machinist made, it has a cool factor to me. And then, to make the even more cool, I'm going to try to show what it looks like in daylight because I have a UV light here that I got from a good buddy of mine, Berg Knife, um, that will imitate sunlight. And you'll see a change from this opaque grayish almost green little bit to blue so let's see if I can get it to work on the video can you see right before your eyes it's blue how cool is that now you can see I don't know if the camera is picking up but what I'm seeing is all the aluminum chips inside reflecting green now you see that? Back to that. Back to that. Now, it's not going to show because I will not be able to cut the camera light off. I will do a video in the dark later showing the glow in the dark feature. But you can see how nice and blue. And you can see some hues of green in there. And you'll watch it change back right back to gray. See how quick that was? Now, because this light is not charging it for glowing it will go back fairly quickly but with about a five minute charge with a high intensity led light about a thousand lumens about five minutes charge maybe not quite five minutes it'll glow for almost 30 minutes in the dark now i'm talking total darkness not it'll be super bright for 10, 15 minutes, I mean real bright, and then it, it, it eventually fades out slowly, much slower than the blue did, but you can see it's back to the green, the opaque now, and I don't know if you can see the shininess of, if I can get a different, I don't have a different light bulb, I thought I had another flashlight here on the table with me, um, hold on just a second, I'm, I'll be right back, give me just a second, y'all. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get a flashlight. I thought I had it right beside me, and I didn't. All right, now, charging it with the LED, I don't know if it's going to show because the light won't allow it to show. Can you see? I'll charge one spot and see if I can get it to show on camera. If not, I'm going to have to do a video of the glow in the dark. Can you sort of see where it's turning green there? It's not, you can't really see it because it's the lights in here are so bright. But you can really see. Imagine the blue that the UV gives off. Can you see the hints of green there? How that turns almost like fish scales. How cool is that? And of course, there's the natural. It's more of a conversation piece than anything. I like it. The way it come out i'm trying to get that shimmer the chips to where they are cut when you have the semi-circle chip in there all these different little lines you see look like cracks almost that's the the curly q chip and in sunlight and in your hand and i'm i can't see it through the camera but i can see it in my hand from behind the camera 
behind the phone, not looking through the phone, looking at the knife. They have a shimmer, a shine to them, almost like a shiny chip laying out by itself, not encased in this epoxy, this resin. And this is the Tucson TS-17, modded with custom Refere Uranium SFX scale material. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Appreciate your feedback. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've enjoyed this little mod. I plan on doing more with other materials and, and so forth. And making knives my own. This knife, because of the way it's set up, I cannot have a lanyard option in it because I believe it would be too brittle. And you can see that the liners are pretty much already skeletonized so much. Now this one's not, but the, the, the back side is, the presentation side, the show side is skeletonized very heavily and it doesn't literally leave room for a lanyard option. Now you can see there's a couple holes on the back side that eventually, depending on what style clip I go with, I'll be mounting a clip to it. But I'm not at that stage yet and I haven't decided on um, I've talked to a buddy of mine, and he came up with the idea, a wire clip, my buddy Sean. And I think that would show most of the knife behind the clip versus a big... I was thinking about a lynch clip, but instead of that, um, I think that would cover up too much of the scale. So I think a wire clip might be a good option. Make something custom, you know, round, flat, something. Or maybe not even do anything at all. Maybe maybe make a barrel and figure out a way to put a lanyard in here but this blade takes up so much this little backspacer is only about three sixteenths thick through here it's very thin and brittle I, I scrapped two pieces trying to make this it was not easy to do and this one is is brittle i'm scared it it could possibly break But that's, that's what I got for you. Hope you've enjoyed watching it and looking at it as much as I enjoyed making it. And look for more to come. I'm going to start modding some stuff and venturing into the scales to start out with. And you know, me and another friend of mine that I've met, um, thinking about venturing and doing some knife stuff. So I'm looking forward to doing some things. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. I thank you for taking the time. Y'all have a great evening. This is Rodney with Garrett EDC. God bless. Take care. Stay sharp. Bye now.